Welcome to Math. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, and I'm so excited to get started with you. Whoops. As usual, we've been focusing on graphing. Now we're actually going to go back to our customary measurement section, or actually I think it's the next page in your Ultimate Math Notebook, excuse me. Um, so you're skipping past the pages you already did on metric measurement, and we're skipping to the customary measurement. Now remember, there are two types of measurement in the universe. There's customary, which is kind of what we use in the U.S. and a couple of other countries like Singapore, I think maybe Great Britain, I can't remember. Um, but we have our own separate measurement system, which is a pain in the gluteus maximus. It involves all kinds of decimals, all kinds of fractions. The easier one is metric, which is used everywhere else but us. So you can blame the good old United States for the presence of so many fractions and decimals in our lives. Um, so with that, let's begin diving into this very complicated but very familiar um, system. The thing I think is a little bit easier about the customary system is that we're a little bit more familiar with. Like, it's hard for us to visualize how heavy one kilogram is, but it might be a lot easier for us to visualize how big one pound is. So the first thing you're going to do is order each of the following measurements in order from least to greatest. A gram is not customary, just so you know. So take a moment, pause this video, use that prior knowledge, um, and also remember our song, 28 grams in an ounce, 16 ounces in a pound, 34 ounces in one liter, customary could be easier. Also remember our gallon man, right? Okay, so I'm assuming now that you're looking at this because you're ready for the answers. Here are the answers. In order of least to greatest, that's always an important thing to note, which order is it wanting me to go? This time is least to greatest. We have cup, pint, quart, gallon inch, foot, yard, mile, gram, ounce, pound, and ton. Okay, so now we're moving on to the hot cocoa break. And it is asking us some straight up questions. And I actually think, um, sorry. So the first one is one that you just kind of have to memorize. How many feet are in a mile? There are 5,280 feet in a mile. How many grams are in an ounce? So remember, 28 grams in an ounce. Let's check it. 28 grams is right. How many ounces are in a pound? 28 grams in an ounce. 16 ounces in a pound. Awesome. Then from some of the videos you've been watching this week, this next one should be really easy. How many feet are in a yard? If you remember from all of our experiments that we've done this year, there are three feet in a yard. A yard is one, I mean, a foot is one third of a yard. How many quarts are in a gallon? So part of the reason I wanted to do this one separately is just to remember, because I know we don't have access to our Kingdom of Gallon anchor chart. So let's kind of take a look at this here. So remember, we have the Kingdom of Gallon. And in the Kingdom of Gallon, he tragically died. And that left his four queen sisters to fight over the king. Who is going to be the major queen? Each queen had a prince and a princess because they were all perfect and wanted to compete with each other in exactly the same way. And each prince or princess had two cats because they were absolutely spoiled and got everything that they wanted. So this is our Kingdom of Gallon. If you're able to kind of recall some version of that story and draw this picture, you'll always be able to convert um, within this customary system with capacity. So how many quarts are in a gallon? All I need to do is count up how many cues do I have in, um, how many cues do I have in this G? So I have one, two, three, four. So that means that I have four quarts in a gallon. How many cups are in a pint? So again, I have two cups in each pint, two cats for every P, because um, one, two cups equals one pint. A cup is half of a pint. How many cups are in a quart? So here I need to count up my C's in one P. So I have one, two, three, four C's in one P. So a cup is one fourth of a quart. Uh, how many pints are in a gallon? So in this one, I need to count up the P's in my total G. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight P's. So that means there are eight pints. And then how many pounds are in a ton? This is another one you just have to memorize, 2,000 pounds in a ton. I thought that was right. I was just making a double check. So uh, now we have our green circle. So now we're just using those symbols, greater than, less than, or equal to, to compare the following measurements. So we're comparing 2 feet and 12 inches. 
Remember, we want our face or our mouth to always be biting off the bigger one. So I want to make sure, I'm actually not going to try to write this out for you because I know I'm going to do it upside down. So if I think about it, 12 inches equals how many foot? I know there's 12 inches in one foot, so that has to be smaller than two feet. So that means two feet is greater than 12 inches. The next one, nine pounds or one ton. Well, so I actually know that we just looked up that there's 2,000 pounds in a ton. So I know that one ton has to be bigger. So nine pounds is less than, you can see my little hand forming it on the bottom if that helps. So 28 grams in an ounce. I know those two are equal. And remember, what's our fancy word that we use for equal? Equivalent, right? 16 and then 28 grams in an ounce, 16 ounces in a pound. So we have 16 ounces in one pound. So those two are also equal, or what's the fancy word for equal? Equivalent. All right, um, one quart and one pint. So again, remember the peas are the prince and princess. They're inside of the cues, so they're smaller. Um, so that means one quart is greater than one pint. Four cups and two quarts. So if you think about this, four cups is equal to two pints, which is equal to one quart. So that's actually going to be less than. Yeah. So let's take a look at these answers in case my, like, moving of the hands in the background wasn't helpful for you. So it's greater than, then going to the right, uh, going down, greater than, less than, equal to, equal to, greater than, less than. And that is it for today, my lovelies. I will see you tomorrow. Adios, or not tomorrow, what am I thinking? I will see you in a few minutes for science.